Okay, so in my clear the clutter practice, what I found really helpful is to just do things in digestible pieces with people. So like two or three hours at a time, and then I can always sense when that's enough. Like a person's not able to make any more decisions. So it's like, okay, let's let that go and, and we'll get at, at another time. And I've found with people that I can, I've, it's all different sorts of scenarios. So say somebody, they have too many books and their, their room they, is just full of books. So then I can work with them and then people that are trying to downsize, I can work with those people. So it's going through the whole house, like their kitchen and every, every room we go through or people with the, a basement that's just got things piled all over the place and they just don't know where to start. So, and, and I'm good at working at a team with, the pe with those types of people. Okay, and the other thing I love to do is really when we do find out what, what needs to go to out of the house, I make sure it gets out the door in my car and I take it to all the environmentally friendly places in town or if you want to sell it at Good Things, there's different stores that do sell things. But it, hardly anything ends up in the garbage, so it's just an environmentally friendly, clear the clutter business. And then it also makes people feel really clear in their house too. And, and they can just work and be more clear and uplifted after. So